What's good, it's your boy 2K here. Shout out to the movement and everybody who's moving with us. This one's gonna be quick, y'all. I just wanna go over an article that was written on my website, 3kingsboxing.com. And it's about Terrence Crawford. He's pissed. He's tired. He feels slighted, right? He feels like the fans and the media have disrespected him by mentioning fighters that he feels have not achieved something that he has, right? And he's correct. Terrence Crawford is the first undisputed champion in men's boxing over the last 11 years, right? He is the first undisputed champion in the last 16 years, right? At 140 pounds. The last man to do it at 140 was Costa Zoo when he beat Zab Judah, right? And he feels that a lot of other fighters are being mentioned over him regardless of the fact that he achieved that accolade. Now, it doesn't matter how you view undisputed champion, right? The undisputed status. The one thing that you can't deny though is that it is an accolade that will put Terrence Crawford in the history books for <laughs> for the duration of the sport, for however, however long it lasts, right? If boxing ends up being banned, you know, 100 years from now, he's still in the history books, right? So you can't deny the fact that he achieved the accolade that is one of the more respected accolades in boxing, regardless of whether or not you feel it is respectable. So you have to give him that credit, right? Let me just go ahead and read this quote. Crawford is calling out both Garcias, Vasil Lomachenko, Errol Spence, Keith Thurman. I don't care whoever. I'm tired of being disrespected by the media. I am the best fighter out there, period. And if anybody else thinks they're better, tell them to come up and wait or down and wait, whatever it takes to make it happen, period. Yo, motherfucker basically said, you can get it, you can get it, and your motherfucking mama can get it. <laughs> Real talk. He just basically called out niggas like, Neoya and Noye and shit. You know what I'm saying? In essence, inadvertently, right? Because there are people talking about Neoye and Noye over Terrence Crawford, right? Anybody that is being mentioned over this guy, he's saying, put him in the fucking ring with me and I will show you why I am the greatest fighter in boxing today. Check this out, people. Regardless of whether or not you agree with him, right? You may be like, oh, he didn't do shit. He fought Julius and Dongo. He was a bum. You know, you can say the most ridiculous statements out there to basically show that you disagree with Terrence Crawford, right? But the one thing you can't deny is he is expressing the fighter's mentality the way it should be expressed right i tell you guys all the time on my channel a fighter should never concede to defeat a fighter should never make it to the point where the fans and the media are perceiving that he's afraid of another fighter right a fighter should never tell the media that he's not going to fight fighter a but he'll fight fighter b right that last part is what sean porter is going through right now right after errol spence dismantled lamont peterson this past saturday and he said it before the fight but he reiterated that errol spence is not on his radar because he wants to rematch with keith thurman and while i don't have much uh blowback on him for saying that because let's face it Three of the four major sanctioning bodies do not have Sean Porter ranked in the top 15. You know what I'm saying? The only sanctioning body that is ranking Sean Porter right now is the WBC, and they have him at number one. Well, who holds the WBC belt? It's Keith Thurman. So Sean Porter's really just trying to uphold his mandatory status. Plus, he feels like he won the first fight, and there's many others 
that feel it, even cats that are affiliated with the movement, they feel like he won the first fight. Me personally, I gave it to Keith Thurman, right? So I don't have too much blowback because I know what he's saying, but at the same time, I will give his ass some bunks because you don't tell the media that you will not fight Errol Spence. Instead, you say, yeah, I'll fuck him up. If you don't want to say it like that, because Sean Porter's a nice guy, say, yeah, I'll fight him and I'll beat him. End it right there. Then you go in the back in the locker room. You go, you know, go home to your bitch. You know what I'm saying? You go, you go at the negotiation table if you even get that far. And that's when you express, man, shit, I ain't fighting this nigga, man. Nope, nope. <laughs> Outside of the eyes of the media. That's when you express that you don't want that fight, right? Because it makes you look bad in front of the fans. You kill your marketability when you do that shit. And that's why I say you should never do these type of things in front of the media. Terrence Crawford is doing exactly what I say you should do as a fighter. Anybody can get it, right? Regardless of the fact that how we feel about Adrian Broner, that can man statement, it's correct. That's what you do. Anybody can get it. Adrian Broner will probably get beat by seven 147 pounders today, right? He probably loses to seven of those guys. But he will never tell you that he won't fight this guy or that guy, right? Furthermore, and to be honest with you, this motherfucker's taking fights that when you look at it on paper, he shouldn't be taken, like the Omar Figueroa fight, for example, right? So this is exactly the way Terrence Crawford should be carrying himself. If y'all motherfuckers think that guy is better than me, put him in the fucking ring with me then, right? Go advocate that you want to see Terrence Crawford versus Mikey Garcia. Go advocate that you want Terrence Crawford versus Vasil Lomachenko. Go advocate that you want Terrence Crawford versus Danny Garcia versus Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman. Go out there and advocate that shit. This is what Terrence Crawford is telling you, the fans. Go advocate it, dog. And I will uphold my end of the bargain. This is what you're supposed to do as a fucking fighter. You always believe you're the best and nobody can beat you. Man, I should be able I should be able to go to Terrence Crawford today. Today. And ask him, "Yo, if you fought a prime Mike Tyson, you think you can knock him out?" He should say yes without hesitation. <laughs> right? Regardless of how ridiculous the statement is, it doesn't matter. He should never concede to defeat to another man before actually fighting that man. It doesn't fucking matter. And this is why I have no problem with Floyd Mayweather's statements when he says he could have beaten guys like, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard and other guys and shit that, that are legends within the sport. That's how you're supposed to talk, right? That's why I had no problem with Von Alexander, the brother of Devin Alexander. If you haven't already listened to that interview, it's on my channel in the interviews playlist. That's why I have no problem with him saying he would beat Gennady Golovkin, even though he's only 11 and 0, right? Hell, the nigga said he would beat his brother. He said he beat his own brother. <laughs> this is what you're supposed to do. So he's got the correct mentality. And this is all I ask from fighters, right? Stay, stay true to your core values that you were taught whenever you first walked into that gym whether you were brought there by a family member, right? Or whether you walked in there uh, off the streets, whether you were picked up off the streets like the Peterson brothers and brought in there by Barry Hunter or maybe another trainer, right? The core values that you were taught when you got in there was that you don't quit and you never show weakness, man. You don't show weakness, right? You always let your opponent know that you think you're better than him, no matter who the fuck it is. Those are the core values of a true fighter. 
and Terrence Crawford, whether you like him or not. Whether you think he's ranked number one pound for pound or not even on your pound for pound list, it doesn't matter how you feel about Terrence Crawford. The truth is, you can't deny that he has the correct fighter's mentality. YouTube, do what you do in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this, uh, these statements that Terrence Crawford is making. Does he have the correct fighter's mentality? Or are you just saying, ah, fuck this guy. He's just blowing smoke. <laughs> Whatever, man. Do what you do in the comment section. Be real. This is real talk for real fans. One.